But in any case, I, I decided I can't rely on catching guys that, it, that have the magic. I have to create the magic with them and for them. And well, I, I, I'm a film buff, if nothing else. I could spend the rest of my life just watching great movies and not have any complaints. That could be my day job, and I wouldn't mind. But when I look at great movies, there's certain things the actors have in common. And I don't, I'm not just speaking of the leads, I'm speaking of everybody in the movie. The other night I was watching for about the 45th time, a John Huston film called The Asphalt Jungle. Great film noir from the early 50s, I guess it was. Maybe even the late 40s, but certainly the early 50s. Everybody in there was fantastic. Marilyn Monroe actually had a couple of scenes, maybe three scenes in there. And she was nobody then. She, her name wasn't even on the poster. Later, they went back and made a new poster and put her name starring Marilyn Monroe and the other people. And, uh, but everybody in there was, was a diamond, a gem, a, a jewel. And that's what I like my movies to be like when I make a movie. So when, when someone comes into my repertory company or comes to me for training, my view of each actor that comes to me is that here is a potential lead in a feature film. Now, whether I put them in the lead in my next feature film or whether I create a part that causes everybody else to say, he could be a lead or she could be a lead, it doesn't matter. The, the showcase aspect of what the studio system used to do with their actors is in place. And you can look at my most recent films. Uh, the people watching tonight may recognize a lot of the people because they're all from the DMV area. And you can see in The Dearly Departed, it's an ensemble group, but any one of those people could have starred in their own movie. And, in, in, and you could say they were starring in the dearly departed, even though some had slightly bigger parts than others. But you look at uh, exigence and the people we brought in. Anybody you see is someone you could get interested in to a degree that you might want to see their next movie. Or, and this I, I really want to stress because it's very important. In my rep company, I asked that all of the actors read Vanity Fair every month. It sounds like a woman's magazine, but it isn't. It talks about the top end of every pyramid on the planet, whether it's banking, um, uh, art, music, um, movies, high society. You read that magazine for six months, and you can sit down in a room with anybody, whether it's Steven Spielberg or, or somebody from Europe, and you've got something to talk to them about. And, I, and in networking, the last thing you want to do is walk into a room and then be stuck for an answer when they say, hello, now what do we talk about? When do I know if I get the part? <laughs> you know, that's not sufficient to maintain a relationship or to create a networking opportunity, you know, to, to harvest anything from. So I'd have people read Vanity Fair. The other thing I had them do, I had a number of books that I had a, a reading list that I asked all the, the actors to read because when you read these, and they're entertaining, especially if you like the industry, when you get into a, a casting session or a business session with a director or whoever it might be, you're going to have things to talk to them about that they find important. And a mentor of mine once said, uh, he had a question, he had a, a way of asking pertinent questions. He says, do you know what a wise man is? I thought, well, I, I, I know the story of the three wise men, but what's a wise man? And he says, a wise man is somebody who knows what you know. And I let that sink in for a minute. When you're casting a movie and you say, yeah, I'm going to shoot out at El Mirage and near the Mojave Desert. The guy says, oh, have you seen any of those uh, uh, 
Mojave green snakes out there? I know the guy's been there. Because those Mojave greens, they bite you and you spend a bad 20 minutes and then you're dead. So it's good to know what they look like and stay away from them. But suddenly I know he knows what I know and there's a bond that happens.